Alex Goff here with RugbyMag.com with one of two very exciting D1A college semifinals. This is Arkansas State in white at St. Mary's. ASU gets on the board early with a very nice line out and drive and Sean Patterson is going to touch it down. Very good team try from the Red Wolves. St. Mary's can do the line out and mall thing too. Very good unity from their forwards and they are just uh, pushing ASU back. Ball goes out wide to the backs and Really not your regular St. Mary's ball handling. Not executing well there. Zach Mazel grabs the ball. Can he go all the way? Does he have enough pace? Just enough pace and certainly the strength in the tackle. Well done. 12-0 Arkansas State. So what happens if we do it right? Same line out in Mall. Ball going out to the backs the same way, but much better execution from the Gales. And they're going to break a couple of tackles themselves. Move the ball. Looks like Cooper Maloney catches that last pass and he will curve around to score. St. Mary's actually takes a lead with another try and a penalty goal. And then this happens. Dale Bates with the ball. Seems like he's tied up, but he just won't go down. Shrugs off a tackler. Now he has support. Passes out to Dean Garicki, and he's in for the game-tying score, 17-17. And then ASU catches a little bit of a break here as they go left again looking for Bates. Bates takes the pass, and he's going to kick it downfield. Weird little bounce, but it rolls into his hands. He's going to pass it off, and referee Tim Liscombe says that's not a knock-on. Play on, and Tim Hauser comes in, grabs the ball, scores 24-17. Still a chance for St. Mary's. Great boot downfield from Patterson. He shows the skills. Arkansas State books a place in the final, 31-17. They win on the road.